Alright guys, so we just found the dog, the most cutest dog in the world. We're just gonna go say hello. It's got a tracker on it though, so he might be after us Arabs and Mexicans, you know what I mean bro? <laughs> what language is that? <laughs> Fiji. Fiji? Fiji water language. Fiji water language. Oh my god, where is he? Alright guys, well we, we were a car channel, now we're a Huntsman channel. Damn, where'd he go? He's not having it. He's, he's, he's taking us somewhere, bro. We're by, we're by. <laughs> <He's>, <laughs> it ain't worth it. We're, we're gone, bro. We're gone. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. I had an intro. I had all this good stuff. I had a little bit of a dog recording. And I lost it all because I'm stupid as hell. But anyways, guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to be working on the 335. We're doing a few things to the interior. I'm here with Erlon, a good friend of mine. You guys probably saw him in the last video or two videos ago. Um, he always helps me out with everything on this car. Good guy. So, <laughs> so we're going to be um, working. Well, we tried working, working on the window regulator. I kind of accidentally deleted that footage as well because, again, very bright in life. Um, so it turns out the bullet went through the window regulator and the window motor. Motor, right? With the motor and the regulator, yeah. Both of them. So we're going to have to get a new uh, regulator. And then I got a motor, so we'll just swap that in there. You know, hopefully... Is dog back? That's neighbors. <laughs> okay, so... Right now, we're going to be trying to also wrap the centerpiece. We're going to also be doing some maintenance. So let's see what we're going to get down to. Before I do that, guys, I just want to shout out the people who actually bought the decals. Hashtag is I'm going to be doing it in the start of every single one of my videos. Um, so anyone, that, any of you guys that actually purchase this decal right here are going to be featured in the beginning of the next day's video. All right, guys. So um, I'm going to be mentioning the people who actually purchased these decals yesterday. Um, so the first guy is Quentin Ramirez. So shout out to you, bro. I'm actually going to be saying the first and last name. Tell me if you guys if that's cool with y'all. Um, I'm going to be doing that because I got a lot of people with the same name. So I don't want to just, you know, shout out the same person kind of twice. So that's the first guy. We got Nick Cooper. Shout out to you, bro. Um, Julian Aponte. Ponte? Ponte? Shoot. Don't, I might be messing up these things. <laughs> Nick Manoz and Curtis Engel. All right, guys. So, yeah, if you guys want to also be featured in the back of this car, make sure you check out the parts list down below. And make sure to cup those decals down below. You'll be shouted out in tomorrow or the next day's video. To be satisfied My weakness comes and goes My weakness comes and goes I'm reaching out for the easy high Please fortify this strength of mine Guys, while I rewrap this, because I messed it up while taking out the door, we're gonna be saying peace out to Erlan over here. Thanks for the help, bro. On the tram, looks dope as hell. He's gonna go ahead and wrap his car. I wish I could help him, but I'm gonna be helping him another day. It's all good. And then we're gonna do a little bit of a some maintenance on this car. So. Alright guys, so my cousins, I know this is random, my cousins just came back from their trip. Um, can't wait to see them, it's been a long time, it's been about three months and we normally hang it like almost on the daily, if not like every other day. So, it's been a little bit, we haven't seen them, um, can't wait for them to come over. Um, so before I actually start working on anything else, I'm just going to say what's up to them that are coming over right now. We might hang out, I might make this a little bit of a vlog, but don't worry, I'm going to be still working on the car, I'm going to try to fix up that trim, probably do some maintenance. And then probably maybe install some things I got from Burger Tuning, which I know I'm still hyping up, but mainly because I don't want to announce anything before I do it. I'm still waiting on the paperwork to come in from the mail. Uh, so we'll, we'll take it one thing at a time. But yeah, let's wait for my cousins to come over. We'll go from there. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Hey, 
you guys are gonna miss this part, but hold on. All right, guys. So welcome back to, um, to the next day. Technically, um, I just woke up. We just got my, you know, my friend, my cousins came over yesterday. We were hanging out. I didn't really want to work on the car because we just got back from their trip. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna hold it off another day. Now they did come back from their trip, and this is the first time they ever got to see the 335i. So I decided to take them out on a ride and see, you know, just just want to show them how the turbos feel because guys, this car is like night and day with the 330i. 330i. It actually drives so smooth and it it pulls so hard. So it feels amazing. But something that I did realize is I started I started smelling smoke. I started smelling like oil or something or exhaust. I don't know what it was. I started smelling something inside the cabin. And once we pulled up in the garage, um, all my cousins were like, turn off the car, turn off the car. Popped open the hood and I see smoke coming from around the engine and from the oil, the oil cap as well. I think from everywhere. I'm not really sure, but it was smoking from everywhere. I didn't see any leaks. So that's the part that's kind of strange. But the engine was smoking and the oil temperature gauge is all the way on the bottom, like it's not even in the middle, so I don't know if that's even working, I don't know. But um, today, my goal is, since this car hasn't had an oil change since the day I got it, I feel like it's due for an oil change. It even says on the dash that it, and it has another 1,600 miles till the next oil change. And guys, you guys know that when you reset it, it goes all the way back to 15,000. So if they were running the same oil for 14,000 miles, I would assume it's about time for it to be an oil change. I'm hoping that's what it is. Coolant looks a bit low. I did check inside the coolant to see if there was any oil in it, and it still looked green. It's dirty, but that makes sense. I might need a new. I might need to flush out the coolant, add some new coolant for that. But the oil, I don't know if it's milky or not. I'm really hoping it's not milky. I, right now, guys, as you can see, I'm, I'm expecting the worst. I'm trying. I'm trying to hope to God it's not a head gasket. I mean, it drives really fine. It starts up. It sounds really good. So I'm hoping it's not a head gasket. But if it is. We're gonna be checking right now. I'm gonna, be t I'm gonna be taking out the engine oil, and we're gonna see if it's milky. Please, in the name of God, if I see coolant in there, I might honestly pass out, and this video is just gonna be uploaded as soon as I take out the oil, because that's gonna be that's it. That's the end of that. Like as a person, you know, that works in college, I mean, that goes to college, I can't afford a twenty-five hundred or three thousand dollar head gasket repair. So, and that's like finding an indie shop, finding a dealer dealer would probably be like ten grand. So. <sighs> I am stressed, boys. I couldn't sleep last night. I kept on rolling around. I'm like, oh man, what's that smoke? What's that smoke? At first, when the smoke came up, I'm like, eh, I ain't even worried about it. Not even because my, my car, my brother's car used to smoke. My car used to smoke, but it was smoking from the the left side where the exhaust was, which is you know pretty much the valve cover. But this car is smoking from the 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 oil cap itself. And I watched BMW Fanatics' video, and it said something about how like it's the end of your engine life. So I'm hoping BMW Fanatic is a little bit over exaggerating because. If that's the case, I don't know because it, it drives very smooth. Like I said, guys, it drives very smooth. It pulls super hard. I feel like there's so much more life in this car. I don't know. Um, I mean, worst case, what worst comes to worst, I will have to do a compression test per cylinder as well, just to see if any of the cylinders are flooded, just to see if any of the cylinders are not, you know, operating like it should. I do have the, I do have the compression tester because you guys remember that I did a compression test on the E46. That E46 got me some new tools for free, pretty much after I sold and flipped everything, and also gave me some experience. And now I know how to do a compression test. So while all this is also going on, I'm also going to be installing probably the cowl filters by Burger Tuning. So that's something they sent out let me show you guys what they sent out um, the cowl filters um, is a it's product they send out to get rid of the whole cabin air filter so you would replace that entire thing on the top with the cowl filters I'll probably install that in a separate video mainly because I'm gonna I want to take it down to smog I want to get everything done because the, it still has to pass the visual inspection and the ones I I don't know why but everyone in my area when they smog the car they check if any wires are loose and like out of this original area so I don't want to have any issues like that because I will have to reroute the wires so I'm gonna I'm gonna hold that off I might install it I might not but that is one of the things don't worry this burger tuning sent me a lot of other cool things that's actually the least coolest thing but still it's awesome just go ahead guys I'm going I'm gonna go ahead um, and start you know just do an old change I guess I mean Hoping for the best here. Really hoping it's not milky. If it's milky, guys, let me know down in the comments, and um, I won't see you guys for another year or two. Right, guys, I want to show you. Yeah, it's really useful. That's how the oil looks. It honestly looks pitch black. I'm assuming it just needs an oil change. You're gonna hope for the best here. So that's how the oil filter looks. Let me know. I mean, that just looks like just a really bad oil filter. So it looks like they haven't done their oil their oil changes on time apparently. 
Very, very terrible. All right, guys, so here's the oil. Honestly, it does not look like it's milky. Let me show you guys. Try to, you guys can give me your, your analysis on this. It looks like just super dirty oil. I'm like, let's be, let's be honest with one another here. Don't, don't be one of those subscribers that just try to scam me. This looks like just super dirty oil. Um, it's actually, it's kind, it's like black, if anything, a little bit dark brown. Um, really, really, really disgusting. Um, so we, I went ahead and put in the fill plug back in. We're gonna go ahead and put the new oil inside of it, because of course, you guys need to make sure you stay atop of your maintenance. But this guy obviously did not, he's so cheap. Um, coolant, I can try to show you guys later. I'll show you guys. I, I'm gonna top it off with more coolant. Worst case, I'll do a whole coolant flush, put new coolant in there. It's not that expensive. It is a little bit of a process, but we'll have to do that if we need to. Alright guys, so I'm right now next to the oil. I want to show you guys, and you guys tell me your initial opinion. Is this straight up oil, or do you see coolant inside this? I'm gonna put my hand in here. And this is how it looks. I feel like this is just really, really, really bad oil. You guys let me know. It just looks like some really bad oil. It doesn't look like there's coolant involved in it. It doesn't feel like there's coolant involved in it. Um, so you guys let me know what you guys think about that. It actually just straight up looks like oil. So I think I'm safe. I just want you guys' opinion, because it was smoking a lot from the oil cap. I'm hoping uh, no head gasket issues. I checked in the coolant, and the coolant seems to be good too. There's just straight green in there. So it is a little bit dirty, so I probably need to do a coolant, a flush, but um, I feel like this is just straight up oil. You guys let me know. Guys, so you just saw it. The oil looks really dark. So. I'm assuming I'm safe. You guys let me know down in the comments. Again, for you guys who just want to keep making my life worse and worse by saying literally worst case scenario, come on guys, just be honest. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, you know, connect with you guys. I want you guys to help me. I want to help you guys by giving you guys the best content possible. And if you guys are telling me straight up, you know, this is the worst, this is the worst, you guys are gonna make me feel like I'm losing hope, all right? So help me out, give me some positive feedback. Uh, I, I think it looks pretty good. If I show you guys the coin, the coin is green, but I feel like there's a little dirt, like, there's like, it looks like, like white dirt. I don't know what that is exactly, but it's very miniature, it's mostly green. Um, it's not bright green, but it's green, so I'm assuming it needs a coolant flush. I will be doing that for sure. Coolant's inexpensive, I think it's like maybe like 30 bucks for BMW coolant, and then like you know another um, dollar for distilled water, it's like 31 bucks or something like that. It's not the end of the world, definitely something I will consider doing down in the road. I did hear if you need to do a coolant flush, you need to take out a lot of parts, and uh, Last time I did a coolant flush on my car, it ended up being a nightmare. I broke my expansion tank, I broke my, my radiator because I didn't put the cap on right, it just blew out. It was a nightmare, I'm very smart in life. So, I put new oil in, I'm hoping that's gonna be the problem. I'm gonna start up the car, I'm gonna run outside for a little bit, see if, um, you know, if, it's, if it's overheating, if anything like that is occurring, see if a service engine light pops up. We're just gonna let it run for about maybe a solid, I'll give it maybe five, 10 minutes. And we'll check the engine, um, hopefully, when it's hot, nothing happens. But yesterday, I was like, I was pushing to the limit. I was pushing 7,000 RPMs at night um, with the old oil. And, you know, I was swipping through the gears, just feeling the turbos. I was really, I mean, I was job shifting, trying to take advantage of the turbos. Because, you know, 335s, there's zero turbo lag. So I was really happy about that. I was having so much fun. But then when the smoke came up, I started freaking out. I'm going to put you guys in the back real quick. I want you guys to let me know if you see any white smoke from the back of my exhaust when I started up. Again, guys, I'm just checking worst case scenario type of stuff. You guys know me, I, I, wanna, I wanna make sure this car is flawless, and I'm pretty sure everyone who has an N54 doesn't wanna hear that they have a bullhead gassy, so let's just check if there's any white smoke. Let's just get it, let's get to it. Guys, I'm seeing a smoke from the side of the engine. I don't know if you guys can see that. But yeah, there is smoke coming from right there. Is that valve cover? I'm pretty sure it's valve cover. Yeah, yeah, that looks like a valve cover. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the car right now. Uh, but what I'm also noticing is that this fan is not running. Yeah, that fan is not working. I don't know why. And I do see, you guys can see the smoke. Yeah, from the side right there. I'm assuming it has a valve cover leak. We're gonna have to look into that. Um, I guess looking at the inside of the car too, I'm also noticing the brake light and the, the 
I, only light I have right now is tire pressure. But why is my oil, um, my oil temperature gauge not even doing anything? I don't understand why it's just, you know, there. Like it's just all the way to the bottom. Is that normal? I don't know. Engine is, I don't think it's overheating. It looks like it's, it's blowing air from the valve cover. I'm not sure, but that's the exhaust side. And that's the same problem that happened to my brother. So you guys let me know. That's probably my problem. Um, but yeah, so far it looks good. It just has that problem right there where also it's not even scanning the oil temperature. Which is probably the reason why my fans are not kicking in. You guys are gonna have to let me know when my fan isn't working either. All right, you guys saw that. So, car seems to be running just fine. I'm, I checked the oil, I checked the coolant. I don't wanna push it anymore. Um, coolant oil looks like it doesn't have anything inside of it. Thankfully, it looks like it. I'm not a professional, you guys let me know, but it doesn't look milky in my opinion. You guys let me know um, also why the, the oil pressure is not it, the oil temperature sense, I, I'm assuming it's a sensor or something, it's not, it's not working, like the gauge is not working and then the fan is not kicking in. Is that associated with that gauge because the gauge is saying the engine is not hot, the fan isn't kicking in? I don't know how to test that, um, but yeah, so far those are my two issues right now that have to do with the engine and, ha and also the valve cover. Valve cover, we've done it before, we're not professionals, but it turns out we did it pretty good. So I'm going to probably end up doing that as well. You got to learn how to do your own maintenance when you own an N54, so I'm going to be doing that myself. Probably gonna get my friend um, to help me out as well. Just, just if he has free time and if he's down. But yeah, so far looking good, guys. Honestly, like I thought all night it was my head gasket. I'm pretty sure it's not. Again, guys, let me know. Um, but in the meantime, I'm gonna be doing a little bit of research, doing uh, you know, catch up, seeing why. Um, you know, those two, the fan and the, the gauges are working, and the valve cover. I'm gonna go ahead and order because I know that's one of the things that have to be done regardless. Alright guys, now I know this video is going to kind of throw you guys off, mainly because I've been kind of jumping forth. I tried ending off the video this morning and I can't really speak that loud because my grandma is home right now. And um, basically you guys know me, I couldn't just leave it. If there's something wrong with my car, I have to do some research and I want to get back to you guys in this video so we can actually, you know, move forward with this build. So, I did some, I ran the codes, let me show you guys the codes that I got real quick. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but these are the two codes. If I can go ahead and uh, so these are the two codes that I'm getting right now. So yeah, thermal oil oil sensor. That's what I'm I'm guessing. Um, when I did some research, it it's either the 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 temperature sensor or it's the the oil level sensor. So it's one of those that are not working. But I did notice that my uh, my needle for my oil temperature gauge is all the way to the bottom. I mean, under 160, so I don't know if that's normal. Maybe there is something wrong with my oil temperature sensor, so you guys let me know. It's on the top, so I'm hoping that's what it is. It's only like 15 bucks. If it's the oil level sensor, that's actually like 200 bucks. I'm hoping that's not what it is, but that's one thing. And I'm getting fuel pump plausibility. I've, I've, I've cleared this code multiple times, but it keeps coming back. I don't know what's the issue. Car runs fine. The gas gauge looks fine. Everything seems to be fine, but I don't know what fuel pump plausibility means. If you guys can let me know what that means, that'd be great. Those are the only two lights under the check engine um, options, so you know that's good. Um, now, when it comes down to the smoking, you know I did let, I let that car idle for our, you know I saw ten minutes and we noticed smoke coming out, but it was coming from the 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 left side of the engine. And I recall the same exact thing happened to my brother's car, so I'm assuming. That is a valve cover. Yeah, I already drained the oil. Doesn't seem there's any coolant in the oil. I checked the coolant tank itself. I don't see any oil in there. It just looks straight green, which is great. So luckily, I mean, as far as I can tell, um, is that it's not a blown head gasket, which is great because that was my biggest fear right now is that somehow or maybe they shot up this car on purpose because they couldn't afford buying a new engine. That's what I got down to and I was getting kind of afraid of that. But you know, after doing a little bit of research, it turns out, you know, it's just some simple things causing all these problems. So the sensor, I'm assuming, is a temperature sensor. You guys let me know from that code you guys saw. If you guys know about 335 hours, I'm sure you guys had to go through this type of stuff. And the fuel pump plausibility on the forms, everyone's saying that it's no big deal, just ignore it. I don't know if smog is gonna give me an issue with that, since it is under the, the engine category of codes. If they won't give me a problem with it, that's all, I don't really care. If, it, if it's no big deal, then I don't care. But you guys let me know if it's a big deal or not for the N54 cars. So yeah, that is it guys. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go back to my other outro because that's a little bit more hyped and I can actually scream right now. You know, my grandma's inside. I don't wanna get in any trouble, so. Really, really excited about this build. I just can't explain to you guys how excited I am. I actually have the mods right there and I'm gonna go in just a little bit closer and show you guys just a little bit closer. And you guys might see, that, that's it. That's it, that's all I can show you guys. So. 
there's there's over three different mods in there so i'm super excited to show you guys i'm going to start up a new series for that so you guys hit me up let me know if you guys if you guys want to see the mods in the next video make sure um you know to smash that like button 500 likes and i would get that as the next video but yeah let me roll out to the other outro but in the meantime guys if you guys want to help support the channel anyway like everyone else who has purchased the decals make sure to get the hashtag save bmw decal down below, you guys will be mentioned in the next video. That'd be amazing. And if you guys can help out with any of the parts down below in the description, um, you guys' names will be featured in the back of the car, right next to all my sponsors and stuff like that for this build. So I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you guys so much. Remember to stay humble, and I get a more in-depth and long video um, in a couple days because I, I do have a math placement exam. So yeah, remember to stay humble, guys. Peace out. Love y'all. Shot in him a line and she's trying to get up on me. I tell her, like, Habibi, that's too hot on my life. He put where they are. I was raised with some mileage. Hey, everyone got a friend named Abby. I'm from OT. 613.